I just got too to pull out. I hope none of y'all have to go through this. Like the first three days, three or four days, was the worst pain I ever felt. I couldn't really do nothing. Like, it was terrible. Especially since I was really active before I got him pulled out. Like, my body was feeling weak. Like, it was terrible. But enough about teeth. Let's talk about the workout. So, first workout back, we started with a good warm up, like always. During the warm up, I was really paying attention to my body, how my body was feeling and stuff like that. And make sure I was good, you know what I mean? Honestly, I felt pretty smooth. And I got through the drills. My warm up felt good. And I felt like I was back a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I felt like I was getting better. After I finished with the drills, my body felt really loose, so I didn't want to do the stretches. Then I was like, hmm, and I decided to like stretch like the important muscles like hamstrings, quad, and also my hips. After that, we did some leg swing. Then we got into some technical drills. I used those mini hurdles. So basically what I was doing is basically like skip over the hurdles and also like switch my foot. Focus on the foot placement, make sure I'm leaning under my CNL mask. Also a hip flexor work. Just also work on my hip flexors and technique. Also like learning how to switch my leg faster again. Cause I just took a minute without sprinting. So I gotta make sure I'm like getting back into it. We did a lot of them. We probably did like four. Cause at first I wasn't getting it. When I kept doing it, I got better at it. So then next we make it more challenging. We was doing like a double skip in between each hurdle. That was really challenging. Cause you gotta like, after the next hurdle, you gotta like switch both foot in one hurdle and you gotta make quick and so you can bring your leg up until the next one. So that was really fun. At first I was struggling and I definitely got better at it too. And I definitely felt the burn. My hip, my glutes, they were on fire. Yeah, we got to the fun part. We did some double leg pogos over the wicket. Also some single leg pogos, reacting off the ground. To make it even more fun, I, I added a hurdle at the end so I could jump over it. I think it was really fun. Jumping is really fun as long as you do it right and you don't feel no pain. And that's one of the easiest way to get faster in my opinion. After that, I spiked up. Me personally, I hate doing any sprint workout in shoes. I love running in shoes, but I hate sprinting in shoes. If I'm sprinting, I spiked up. I know it's the first workout. It would be smart for me to like actually did that workout with shoes on but I don't like when it was shoes on, so I just decided to spike it up. So after that, I did a couple wicked sprints. I know y'all can't see the wickets because like it's same color as the track. I was really focused on technique rather than intensity. I was like blasting out and going crazy. So I will say about like 75%, 80%. This is my first day back. I didn't want to go out too hard and mess up my hamstring or nothing. So I was being smart about it. And after that, I finished with some stretches. Basically a little cool down. You might also find this video helpful. Check it out.